Hi guys, welcome back to reading the word and understanding the Bible verse. Today we're in Hebrews chapter 1 and chapter 2. And in chapter 1, what I find interesting, what stood out to me the most, is verse 3. And it says, The sun is the radiance of God's glory, and the exact representation of his being, sustaining from all things by his powerful words. So what I like about this so much is that first the Heavenly Father is glorifying his son, which is Jesus. And then through Jesus it's saying all things through his powerful words, which is as Jesus Christ speaks, his powerful words and knowledge through Jesus is how we gain through the, is how we understand life, is how we understand walking in Jesus' way, is through how Jesus taught us, right? It's how he spoke and how he spoke with knowledge and wisdom that makes us understand. You only can understand it. See, people could read the Bible and go, well, Jesus' words are just his words. But when you read his Bible, knowing that you accepted Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit. And as you read it, because I'm not reading it by myself, like like some people think I am. I'm reading it right now with Jesus next to me. Because he lives in my heart. And he, I accepted him with the Holy Spirit. So his powerful words is a powerful statement saying that one of his words that really stands out to me the most, and which it, which I love, is where does your seed land? Does your seed land on hard soil? Does your does your seed land on soil where a bird's where it's so hard a, a bird is gonna come eat it? Does your seed land on soil where it grows a little bit and the sun comes and kills it because? It's not enough strength? Or does your seed land on good soil where it can grow deep down and rooted and become a beautiful plant and produce fruit? And that's what I like about it so much is that that's where all of us born in Christians want to be. We want to be able to produce fruit. We want to be able to, we want people to be able to see that Jesus Christ lives through us, just so just by the way we act, just so, by the way we treat people, by the way we pour love on somebody who we don't know that much, but we're willing to pray for him, and we're willing to pour love through prayer. Those kinds of things are what Jesus did to us, and when Jesus said that we will be able to do more than what he did on earth. It's because the Holy Spirit lives inside of us. We'll be able to cast out demons and do more things through the Holy Spirit, through his love and presence of him guiding us. That's why I love about this so much, is it says his powerful words. His powerful words will live forever, and that's the Bible. That's the Holy Spirit. That's the Bible living, truthfully, going to generation from generation from generation. And when the world's destroyed, the Bible, his word's still going to be the equally powerful. It doesn't matter. It just matters on wh where your life is headed towards. And that's why I like about this so much. is because it not only glorifies the Heavenly Father, number one. Number two, it glorifies Jesus coming on this, walking on this planet. And then number three, it glorifies his, his powerful words. His powerful statement that he gave us in the Bible, which is a guideline for all of us born again Christians, to understand of how to change your life, how to walk away from our sinful desires and our sinful ways, and walk more like Christ, to think more like Christ. Am I saying when you become a born again Christian, you become sinless? No, we're still all born sinners on this planet. Jesus is the only one who came in as well, conquering sin, conquering Satan himself, and saying that 
you're not going to destroy me. I'm going to rise from the grave after three days. And the Holy Spirit is going to come down and change people's lives. You might, you might not want to believe that. But that's what's happening here. That's why I could... That's why I have so much passion to read the Bible and to share His love, because the Holy Spirit is powerful. And when you when you come in when He comes into your life, you can see how awesome Christ is. Just by the way of His, not only by the way of His powerful words, but the way He guides you in life. It just doesn't come normal. It comes from him loving on you so much. And that's the awesome statement about this. Is that he is the ultimate creator. He, he, he went to heaven to make a place for us. And that's something that's so wonderful. Is that we have an awesome God who lives with us. He doesn't live in a building or a temple or a church anymore. He lives inside our hearts, and that's what I love about this statement, is that that's how God is, is that He wants to change you. Jesus Christ makes an impact. Why? Because He changes people's hearts. He changes the way we think, and that's the beauty about following Jesus Christ, is that you can see the guideline of what He did in your life. Now, me struggling through the pain and going through the hospital for two months, for two years, struggling to breathe four times during that time, and knowing that my parents couldn't come to me in the hospital, knowing that they didn't know what was wrong with me, but me knowing that Jesus Christ was there holding my hand all the time, knowing that me worshiping the Lord during my struggles and situations where I was having trouble breathing, Turning on my worship music and feeling the love of Jesus Christ in the hospital was such a powerful testimony that I'm mean, able to share it now because God says we're going to go through struggles in life. But how we deal with that situation, how we deal with that struggle, are we going to look at that struggle going, man, it's just my luck today? Or are we going to look through that struggle going, ah, he knows what he's doing. We might not know what we're doing, but He's the ultimate creator. He's the ultimate guideline for your life. So I pray that this helps you guys realize that how powerful Christ can really change your life. So I pray that this helps you guys open up to understand to pick up the Bible and read it. It's the most important thing I could teach you guys is read it for yourself. Don't just take my word or a priest or pastor's word, take it for your own consideration and pick up the Bible and read it because it's such a powerful statement of how Jesus represents himself to us and how we should live our life daily. So I pray that this helps you guys today. I pray that you guys have a good day. Blessed day. Love you guys and God bless.